Dragon's Blood. Isn't that the coolest name for a paint color? In this video, I'm trying out Dragon's Blood by My Mary Blue for the first time. And what better subject to paint with Dragon's Blood than Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, the first of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Protector of the Seven Kingdoms, the Mother of Dragons, the Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, the Unburnt, the Breaker of Chains, from Game of Thrones, obviously. Sorry, that was, that was super cheesy. By the way, my name is Emily, and here on my channel, we do art tutorials, product reviews, and we discuss all things watercolor. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button right now. At the plein air convention earlier this year, I purchased way too many art supplies in the vendor expo hall, and this little paint tube was just one of them. Chatting with the folks in the My Mary Blue booth, I asked them if they had a favorite pigment or a color that they thought was extra special, and without hesitation, they said, Dragon's Blood. Now I have previously tested and reviewed a half pan set of my Mary Blue paints and they were fine, but they didn't really blow my mind. But in the pan form at least, they didn't re-wet very easily and I felt like I was constantly fighting to just get enough pigment on my brush. Now I had never tried the tubes and I know that there are many artists who absolutely adore these paints. So I'm reasonably confident that I'm going to love them too. For this demo, I'm using Fabriana Artistico 140 pound cold pressed cotton watercolor paper on a five by seven inch block. I like the texture of cold pressed paper the best. It just has a little bit of tooth, but it isn't so textured that it makes smooth skin on portraits difficult. And for this painting, I wanted to test out several different things. Does this paint granulate? What range of values or lights and darks can I get with this color? Does it look good on a portrait? Is this a color I could see myself using regularly? So a little bit of info about the My Mary Blue brand. This company, originally called Fratelli My Mary, was founded in 1923. It was one of the very first factories in Italy to manufacture artist paints and varnishes. The company utilized the combined artistic interest and techniques of the painter Gianni Mameri and the chemical knowledge of his brother, Carlo Mameri. Something unusual about this line is that My Mary Blue features 90 colors, each made from a single pigment. Single pigment paints are generally preferable to mix pigments because they offer greater flexibility and purity when mixing and can be layered endlessly. All of the My Mary Blue colors are marked with the maximum light fast rating, so even when very diluted, you can be confident that when you display and frame your artwork, it's going to last. These paints are made with carefully selected single raw materials along with a binder, which is a blend of natural gum arabic and glycerin. Some more specifics about this particular color, Dragon's Blood. It comes in a 12 milliliter metal tube and it contains the organic pigment benzimidazolone PBR25. It is semi-opaque, non-staining, and it does granulate slightly. I'm not gonna lie, my first impression of this paint is that it's fabulous. It's unlike any other color I have, much more of a pinkish brown than my burnt sienna or my burnt umber. It has a really broad range of values from a deep rich brown to a soft pale pink. Quality wise, it feels every bit as creamy and easy to work with as my favorite Holbein and Daniel Smith paints. It is very easy to adjust the values and spread the paint. And the granulation is subtle enough that it doesn't look too gritty for painting smooth skin on a portrait. It re-wets and lifts very easily and softens out beautifully when applied wet on wet. Yep, confirmed. Dragon's Blood is a gorgeous color and it was perfect for this monochromatic painting of Daenerys Targaryen. I can definitely see myself using this color regularly. Now one more test I wanted to do with this pigment after completing the portrait was to see how it worked as a primary, meaning could I use this color as my only red in a painting with just the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow? Here you can see I tested out the Dragon's Blood color next to two other My Mary Blue pigments. This is Ultramarine Deep and Cadmium Yellow Deep, and this cooler yellow is Green Gold. I think either set of these three colors could work beautifully together for any painting that requires more earthy mixes. Since this pigment is actually a brown pigment, PBR 25, it's not a pure perfect red, but most of my favorite subject matter, animals, landscapes, and portraits involve more earth tones anyway, so I think this color works very well, both as a mixer and on its own. I loved this color. I do think it lives up to the hype. If you're a pigment nerd looking for something fun to add to your paint collection, I highly recommend this one. Leave me comment below, are there any other unusual colors you'd like to see me test out on a monochromatic portrait? I would love to do that. Do you have just a favorite color? Share that with me below. Oh, and check out this next video all about Michael Harding's rare and beautiful lapis lazuli. I'll see you over there.